so clean, guys. Oh my god. Is it okay if I swing your car? Bro, I don't care. What? I don't care about the tires. You it's your insane. motor. You are insane. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> um, you know what we got to Oh, you good. So I just went and started the truck. We got this CTS Evolution powering up. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the performance tune. Alright, we're in manual mode right now. Let's see if we can get some... We can feel that power, that 5.0 power. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, what is happening dudes it's your buddy Aaron here welcome back to another video on the channel I know it's been like a little over a week since the last video and uh, it's because we're a little bit bummed we got rod knock on the G35 we tried to fix it and then we got rod knock again literally like 15 minutes after driving it so um, before we go ahead and dive into all of the content of tearing out this uh, this blown motor and rebuilding it and putting another motor in there, um, I have some crazy plans for that. Um, we are going to be working on the daily today on the F-150 and we're going to be giving it some love. Now since it is the daily, I don't want to do anything that's going to put any risk towards the fact that it is a daily and that it is super reliable. But what I do want to do to it is get it tuned because it does have the bigger wheels, the bigger tires, and uh, this won't really significantly risk anything with the vehicle. If anything, It'll give me better gas mileage and um, it'll actually have the transmission shift better since I got the whole lift kit and the big wheels. Oh god, bug. So a good friend of mine, he's a technician who works at the Honda dealership that I work at and he was able to sell me this Edge Evolution CTS2 um, to tuner. And what we're going to go ahead and do is pretty much tune our bone stock F-150 and see if we get any noticeable gains out of it. I don't have a dyno, I'm not going to be bringing it to a dyno, but I got my butt and I'm gonna be butt dynoing this, and I'm gonna see if I can actually feel a difference without doing any mods and going ahead and tuning the Ford F-150. I gotta give a huge shout out to the YouTube channel American Trucks Ford because they went super in depth with this tuner and they were proving that it actually does give good horsepower, good gains um, for just tuning a, a bone stock truck without adding any mods to it. I'm gonna show you guys a clip right here of the exact gains that they were able to log. We went ahead and we ran our truck on the dyno stock and we ended up making 279 horsepower and 293 pound-feet of torque. We then installed the performance tune on the edge tuner and we ended up making 290 horsepower and 308 pound-feet of torque, which makes repeat gains of 11 horsepower and 18 pound-feet of torque. But what's even better are the curve gains. Relatively low on the RPM band, we saw curve gains of up to 33 horsepower and a whopping 66 pound feet of torque. Those are some very impressive numbers. So as you guys can see, we can get up to 66 pounds of torque um, additional to what we already have. So that is awesome. Um, I'm hoping that I could get some better fuel economy. We are gonna be testing that out today um, as far as the fuel economy and as far as the butt dyno. Does it actually feel faster? Now I've always wanted a truck and something like this, I mean, I fell in love with this truck. I do not miss my Honda SI whatsoever because I really, really do love this truck. It gives me the ability to do whatever I want as far as towing things, putting shit in the bed. But in all seriousness, I'm still a car guy and I love going fast and I also like having decent gas mileage. So I'm gonna see if we can get any benefits out of installing this tuner um, as far as performance and economy. All right, so check it out. We are currently on the stock level. So there's nothing done to, uh, to the ECU or anything like that. Uh, then they have uh, level one, which is economy. I guess best for the fuel economy and whatnot. Level two for towing and then level three for race. So we're gonna go to level three. Ah, uh, shit. I have a full tank of 83 right now. Damn it. So currently I have a full tank of 87 uh, in the in the gas tank right now. So I won't be able to use the level three race, um, but I will be using the level one economy for now um, until I go throughout this entire gas tank. And then we're gonna be showing you guys, you know, if there's any gains on the 93 octane once I fill it up with that. So while we're waiting for a little tuner, I um, just wanted to show you guys what I did to the garage. I was gonna have like a little video of doing, oh my God, a little mini dream garage setup. Um, but yeah, kind of the, the floor kind of came out like shit because I didn't really do it the professional way. I didn't, uh, I didn't use a paint remover to remove all the old paint that was in the floor. And the kit that I got was like 130 bucks, and it still wasn't enough to fill up this one car garage. I guess just because it's like really long. But either way, the floor looks really nice. I mean, a lot nicer than it did at least because I had a lot of like really bad like paint coming up and um and a lot of oil and whatnot on the floor so what i did was i used a like degreaser i got all of the oil up and i just cleaned the crap out of it um i was able to like scrape up a lot of the loose paint that was coming up but there was still like a lot of loose paint left over i should have just either hit it with a super hard pressure washer um or just use some paint remover and, and got the rest of the paint up and out of here but 
it's okay. Um, it's awesome. I can still walk out here with socks on, and uh, this epoxy really sits uh, pretty good on top of the old paint, and it's not too bad. Um, it just sucks that I kind of ran out towards this end here, so it's like really thin and light over here, but honestly, I don't really care. It looks way better than it did, and I'm renting from here, so maybe when I go out and purchase my own place, um, it'll come out a lot better. But we got a lot more room in here now. Um, I bought some racks I'm going to be putting up here just so I can have a whole bunch of like my, you know, fluids and just car shit that I have over here. Because uh, it's kind of all mixing together with everything else and it's just it's just not good I want to have house shit over here, and I want to have car shit over here But yeah, I kind of just cleaned it up in here just so like the vibe is better feels a little bit better to be in here Especially when you're working super hard and removing an engine <laughs> out of the g35 because it's fucking rod knocked So I did lend the uh, the engine hoist to my buddy Matt That's the cool kid that we picked up the boosted VQ motor for he is kind of tearing it down right now Just to install a couple extra parts on the motor before he puts it in his car So I'm gonna go over the later. I'm gonna show you guys, you know his uh, his motor where it's at right now and uh, we're gonna try and get it on the little engine stand so I can take my hoist back over here and then uh, we're gonna bring some content to you as far as removing this engine and rebuilding it with uh, maybe a forged build um, there's so many different options that I can do as far as like HR swapping it or VR 30 swapping it or 2J swapping it it's all like in the same price range but I'm gonna be honest with you guys I've already spent so much money and super invested in this VQ35 that all I, all I need is a forged block and a turbo kit and I will fucking make super reliable power and I'll be happy with that and I won't have to change anything as far as the harness and shit like that. So I'm going to be doing that. Stay tuned because uh, this G35 is going to it's, it's go nuts. Not sure how comfortable I feel with, you know, running this wire and everything. I can always tuck it in. Dude, every time I start talking, you just fucking launch the music, bro. Who that? You're creeping up on me right now. Damn, what you got, son? Oh, shit. He's got that, he's got that jet tag, boy? What's that? Is that that G35 jet tag? I better get y'all Damn, you better go to AA-supply.com right now. Get the homie hookup for 20% off. Look at that jet tag, boy. Coming in clutch right now. Gangster. <laughs> what up, guys? All right, so we are in the F-150 right now. We just made it over to uh, to West Palm at, at uh, Matthew's house, and we picked up a little U-Haul trailer because we're going to be moving his engine that we picked up um, in PA, and uh, we're going to be bringing it over to the shop that's going to be pretty much putting it in his car. Um, so we got everything like strapped up on the back right now. I'm going to show you guys in a second. I just wanted to show you guys that we are getting a lot better gas mileage with this, uh, with this new economy. Uh, tune that we got so we were just driving in the city for a little while we also drove on the highway um, right now it was at 13.8 when I was on the highway it was showing like a 14.7 um, which is way better than what I was getting I got an average last time of 10.5 which was like pretty much over time of driving a lot throughout the city as well as the highway so um, we got at least three for sure three miles to the gallon sometimes four extra miles to the gallon which is really good um, I would I would consider that like a good 30 to 50 percent increase um, in, in gas mileage which is awesome so that's really cool I'm on 83 I'm gonna be driving a little bit more throughout this week and I'm gonna be filling it up with 93 and we're gonna see how that uh, that performance tune feels but let me show you guys what we got going on right now what's up Matt yo yo, yo. Back at it again. Yeah, bro, you're a little dirty right there, man. It's terrible. Yeah. It's all good, bro. This is exactly what happens when you're dealing with this crazy-ass horsepower motor. Dude, I can't wait to see this thing in your car. But check it out, guys. We got it loaded up in the trailer right now. We're going to bring it over to the shop that's going to be installing it into his car. And then later on, whenever he's ready, he's going to be bringing his car over to, uh, over to my spot. And then we're going to be removing his engine, which we got some crazy plans for since I'm going to be building the motor that's in my car. So... Stay tuned for that. I got something really cool for you guys, something super exciting, but I'm not gonna release any information right now. Just tag along, that's really it. But I just wanted to show you guys this in the midst of the whole F-150 tune video because this is a little contribute to the F-150. We're gonna get some economic gas mileage while we're towing a trailer and a, <laughs> and, a, and a nice motor here. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop this baby off. It's gonna get some extra work. What were you gonna get done to it again? Extra? Doing the Dynasty Billet Girdle. Oh, yeah. um, changing up some of the pulleys running a super damper pulley, um, what else? Oh yeah, the motor mounts too. Motor mounts, training mounts, yeah. going with the Z1 polyurethane ones. Yeah, we got that CD09s actually in the bed right here. Yep. Um, the clutch looks crazy. Where do you have, do you have the clutch plate here? It's over there. Oh, don't we have to bring that over there too? Yeah, we'll Yeah, we here. probably should. Twin disc. But yeah, we got the twin disc. Oh my God, that thing looks sick. What? Pressure plate. Oh yeah, that pressure plate is insane. We spent some time out here trying to get all those bolts off but looks like they were able to finish the job get it off uh, now it's just up to the shop to go ahead and take care of the flywheel put it on the stand and start tearing down the upper oil pan for the girdle 
and then just put it all back together. That's right. Uh, Not too far away, but it feels like a long way. Yo, away. seriously. Every day is just making a little progress. Man, the hardest part is already over, and that was us running all the way, like five states away, just to grab this motor, which is crazy. To feel like deja vu. A <laughs> it <bit>. really is. <laughs> it really is. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Right here, we got our our poor G35. This thing is rod knocked. This thing is fucked. This thing is ready to get out of here. I need to remove the engine. I need to change the whole short block. And I need to do all that stuff. So good news for you guys. I have a built short block that I just ordered. What? What you talking about? Man, what you doing, bro? Trying to interrupt my video? You know, I'm trying to talk to them, bro. <laughs> Where you hi? I can't even see you, bro. Where are you? <laughs> oh, I can't. I still can't even see you, bro. You're like <laughs> out here in the jungle. Watch out, bro. You got coconuts, man. You know, those things are fatal. Yeah, so we're finally getting back to it. Here's the thing, guys. So I got a short block that's being built from Import Parts Pro. We're doing a stage one short block built for 650 horsepower. That's going to be some Eagle rods, some Wisco pistons or Wiseco, whatever, however you say it. Rods and pistons, all that good stuff. We're getting a built short block, honed, bored, everything ready to go. I was going to do it all myself, but I decided that... I just I don't have the right amount of experience in order to build a motor and it would it would be good to get the experience and do it and try it but I really want this thing to perform really well and I don't want any issues uh, to come out of it it wasn't that much more expensive to get them to build it plus it comes with a warranty so that's good we're gonna be getting a short block from import parts pro and we're gonna have a fully built long block G35 VQ 35 DE so all we're really gonna be missing is a turbo kit which is another like fucking six to eight grand so for now, we're going to be getting that short block, putting everything back together. Um, but in this video, um, we are actually receiving a new motor from our buddy Matthew. We went up all the way to Pennsylvania and we picked up his twin turboed VQ35DE that's already built, ready to go, and he is finally ready to be putting it in his car. So his car, you know, he has to get the motor that's in it out of it right now. And super generous guy, he was he's going to be giving me that motor. So I was originally going to be putting that motor in this car, um, just put slap my heads on there, put the rear and front cover on there, seal it all together and put it together and just continue running the NA build. But that's just not enough for you guys. And I want to go boost. I want to go all the way with this VQ35DE, even though it's the worst motor to like fall in love with but I did already so it was too late I could have swapped it HR or VR30 DDTT or 2J whatever guys I'm gonna be sticking with the stock motor we got it built from the ground up and uh, we're gonna be putting some boost to it in the future so stay tuned for that but I'm just waiting for my buddy Matthew to get here so we can check out his G maybe drive it around a little bit because I miss driving it and uh, and then we're gonna be removing that motor so that's what this video is gonna be removing that motor I got a buddy who's gonna come and help me he's gonna take the transmission I'm gonna take the engine and I want to ask you guys because I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing with that new motor originally it was gonna be going in this car but now I have so many other things that I can do with it. So I can buy another blown motor G35 or 350Z, put a motor in it, and then have a lot of fun with it. So, uh, and then I was also thinking about maybe doing a giveaway with that. Well, um, whatever purchases you guys have on the AA Supply website would go towards that build or uh, that giveaway. Um, and then we would see who the who the lucky winner is of the G35. So we don't really know yet. I'm just, I'm still looking. I'm looking for blown G35s. I'm looking for blown G350Zs. I want to make some content with that uh, new car without doing too much work to it. Have some fun, and then eventually give it away uh, once uh, once we have enough like entries into the contest. So that would be cool. Let me know what you guys think down below. But I do have that spare motor uh, to work with and see what we can do with that. But as for now, we're just waiting for my buddy to get here so we can take his motor out. So. Let's wait for Matt to get here. See you guys in a second. Um, I'm gonna move our rod knock G35 out because it's still running. It's just it's just rod knocking, which is not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that out, and uh, we're gonna wait for him to get here. Maybe do a little ride in his car, and then uh, pull it in and get to work. <laughs> So clean, guys. Oh my god. What up, what up? What's good, dude? Up, How you doing, brother? Pretty good, you? Pretty good, pretty good. I was wondering, like, what the fuck is that noise? He's like, yeah, that's my Mission Moto fans, you know. So, so it's it. time for a little tune. So where are you going, bro? Are you going to RSM Delphi? 
I don't know yet. <laughs> I have, dude, I haven't even priced it out. I don't know. I know. I'm trying to get him to go over to see Martin um, because it's not that far. You originally wanted to go like where? Z1. Z1, exactly. With Z1, no problem. They'll, they'll kill it when it comes to tuning, but just be a little closer and a cool guy. A whole you know lot what I mean? closer. Yeah, a whole lot closer up in Tampa instead of, what is it, Georgia? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Z1's up in Georgia. The only person I know that still has the original key. I don't know nobody with oh. the original key. What Look, you, you still see the <laughs> little buttons there. Man, I feel so low. There Honestly, it doesn't feel like my car. It doesn't feel like a Jeep. Oh, there it goes. There's the Jeep. You're about to feel a little lower. There's the Jeep. Oh, yeah. Now, now I can see the road a little better, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure this one feels slower dude, than your build. Dude, it really does. Yeah, I bet. It really does. Wow. That stock clutch is so much dude, different than my clutch. I'm like, right I'm now. like, I can't just, I have to let it, I have to let it catch. It's a little soft. Very so. Bro, it's gonna be so different when you get in with a new clutch. Especially oh without God. the clutch pedal, I know. Wow, I miss driving a car, but it's just, it's second nature. It comes right back, dude. Just like riding a bike, baby. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is it okay if I swing your car? Bro, I don't care. What? I don't care about the tires. You it's your motor. Insane. You are insane, bro. Right into the fucking <laughs> grass, right? That was pretty dope. How nervous are you, bro? I'm not, dude. I trust you. Shut up. No way. I would be so nervous. Nah, it's all good. Put it on the side. Well, there it is. That sounds so good. Oh, right back into the same spot. That's so funny. It's just not oh, that lady screaming something. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, let's get out of here. We're going home. Heard the axle click. Yeah, dude, so bad. <laughs> she's got 137,000 miles. Yeah, man, she's got some miles, that's for sure, but she's so smooth. All right, guys, so we're back in the garage. Matt was super awesome to let us go ahead and do some donuts in his baby here. Little slides. Little slides. It was cool to be back in the G35 and get a slide in again, but uh, we gotta get some work. We got some work ahead of us. We're gonna start by removing, we went and disconnected the battery already. We're gonna start by removing the front bumper, the grill, the um, the splash shield. He's got the nice TBW metal splash shield on there. I'm just gonna, I, I pretty much, I explained everything back when I pulled out the new, the blown motor out of my new G35. So if you guys wanna know in depth of what we're doing in order to pull an engine out of a G35, check out that video. Other than that, we're just gonna be skipping uh, ahead to when we make some progress. So this is what it looks like right now. And this is what it looks like in about a second. Guys, man, going crazy over here. A little, a little dirty, as you can see. But look at the progress we made. Um, we got the engine all pretty much chained up. We got the entire harness disconnected. We got uh, alternator, um, starter, transmission, all the sensors, everything is disconnected. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much ready to pull it out. We just gotta be real careful. There's a, there's a hard line on the power steering rack. We gotta be careful of. But that's about it. Let's we'll see if we can yank this out of here real quick. just slave that shit out. Actually, honestly, I didn't really slave it. It was pretty easy. Not too bad. So we got it out. We got 
Matt's car right there. Um, we're gonna just kick it out the garage real quick. They're gonna do a little wheat swap. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them hear that one J real quick. <laughs> the Pete the wheat swap. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> it's an IS. Those brakes, though. It's because it's, it's raining. Yeah, I know. Check it out, guys. We got our new motor as well as a transmission that our buddy is gonna be purchasing for his 1J build. I'm freaking stoked, guys. I got all these parts right here. We got his car chilling right outside here. No motor in it. And uh, we're pretty much, we're gonna be towing the car over to the shop that they're gonna put in the new motor um, at. So we're gonna be towing it up to West Palm tomorrow. What up, guys? Damn, they are freaking jamming over there. What up, dudes? It's the next day, and uh, we got Matthew out here. We got D out here, we got the beast right here. We're just trying to push it onto the trailer right now. We got it aired up. Good thing I got the homies doing all the hard work. All right, I'm ready when you are. There you go, keep going. My, I'm all the way up, right? I'd say yeah. she's in there. <laughs> Good job. Second time's a charm. Dude, you're so aired up, back. I don't even have to, oh, I can open the door. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. Mine, I had to fucking, I had to, oh, this thing isn't even locked in. That thing could have fell while driving. Could have ran away. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You already know, man. Appreciate you, dog. You right. Look at this jerk just riding on my ass. This thing is gonna be so crazy once he puts that boosted motor in there, but. So right now we're on our way to drop it off at a uh, Lexus Technician's uh, house. Uh, his name is Jose, we're gonna drop it off there. He's gonna be putting the motor into the car, pretty much putting the whole thing back together and making it uh, maybe drivable, I'm not sure how he's gonna get the whole thing set up with the tune and everything, but he might need our help to bring it to RS Enthalpy and see if we can tune it, and then it would be freaking crazy to make so much power, that would be insane. So that would be, that would be awesome. It's gonna be, his is gonna be turboed before mine's turboed, so, so we're gonna have some content on his car before mine, but we're still gonna be putting my entire, you know, engine back together once I get the build block and doing that shit, so that's awesome, but we're on our way to Jose's house right now, uh, see you when we get there. Yo! So it's already getting dark right now. We got Matt driving the truck right now. She's Being a beauty. A, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> He's loving it. He's about to steal this shit from me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But uh, we dropped off the, the G. Um, you can see it's not on the trailer no more. So uh, it's getting a little, little dark out. We're going to head home, um, drop off the trailer and everything. And we're going to pick us up when we're getting ready to throw a performance tune on the F-150. We're going to see if this thing actually gives some horsepower. Now, I have been driving it for the last like two weeks now um, on just regular 87. Um, on an economy tune, and I was looking it up, the economy tune, it actually does add like 10, 15 horsepower peak, um, and like like 20, 30 uh, pounds of torque at certain um, areas of the power band. So that's pretty cool that, it, you know, even on an economy level, you're gaining, you're gaining power, and I definitely felt it. But um, I'm excited to see what putting 93 in the tank and the performance tune is gonna do. So let's just skip over to that right now. Wait, before we do that, if you guys wanna see some more boosted G35 content, follow Matt and stay tuned on this channel because we're going to have some of that coming soon. It's actually going to be before my car, so stick around, but I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. What up dudes, we're back a couple days later um, with the F-150. We're actually going to finally put that performance tune on there and see if we can get us some horsepower on our 5.0 liter. V8. It's got the garage cleaned up. We do have our engine that we're going to be putting in something, I don't even know what we're putting it in yet. Hopefully it's gonna be another G35 because I don't have any time to be putting that into like a Miata or anything like that. Even though that would be really, really fun. 
but I'm looking for another G35. So if you guys got a blown motor G35 like this one, pretty much the same way I picked this one up. It was a manual. Um, it had a uh, it had a bad motor. Shot a rod right through the block, and you guys can see it's uh, it's fairly clean. It wasn't too bad, but. I didn't pay too much for it, and that's what I'm looking for, so I can put a good motor in it. And we're getting in here just so that we can, holy crap, it's hot in here. Ah! That loud fuel pump, boy. We got that, that Walbro 485 in here, boy. Hot as balls in here. All right, so we're gonna give her a startup. Nice little rod knock startup. Um, I'm just gonna be putting it in the garage, because it's Father's Day. I've been filming this video for like three weeks now, but it's Father's Day, and I'm gonna be going over to my dad's house and uh, hanging out with him for a little bit. And then we're gonna get back to uh, uh, hopefully a normal like weekly schedule of videos. So I'm um, really sorry, just kinda took some time off so I can work really hard for this motor build for the G35. And I think I found a turbo kit. So I might be going to pick that up in the next week or two. So that would be insane if we can put the long block together. We got a built short block. We have our heads that are already built. I'm gonna get redecked and polished and then uh, um, I might have a turbo kit which we can slap together before we put the motor in because it'll be a lot easier that way and uh, Yeah, we'll be fucking quick. Hopefully this Shit starts right up oh my God, I love the cam sound it sounds so good This poor car, but she's gonna be incredibly fast once we once we really get it going. I'm really happy that I was able to have a nice comeback build um, for NA and just to see what kind of numbers we can really make out of like literally every bolt on that you can get, as well as E85 and cams and uh, and a fuel pump and injectors and all that good shit. Now, now we're going boost, boys. I can't wait. This thing's gonna be so fast. It's gonna be a whole new car. But anyway, let's see if we can get any uh, any extra power out of this. Uh, now this F-150. So guys, I already felt it. Fucking air mix motors clicking in here. I gotta get that changed out. So annoying. Every time I turn on the car, it's like click, 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 click. Anyway, so already with our butt dyno, uh, we were able to feel a, a decent gain of power just going to the economy tune. And we also saved some gas mileage too. So I just went and started the truck. We got this CTS Evolution powering up. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the performance tune. We go ahead and load that in, and we're gonna see if we're any uh, any different in power. I did fill it up with 93 octane this time instead of the 87, because um, we were we're currently running on that 87 economy tune. Putting 93 and running the economy tune does give us a little bit better gas mileage, but I don't think it's worth um, spending that extra money for the premium. Um, I think you'll still get decent gas mileage um, when you're on economy, and you'll be spending a lot less money on the gas itself. So we're on level one economy. There's level two for towing, and then level three for race do that so it needs 91 plus octane gas is required we got 93 so yes all right programming has been complete we're in race mode now so let's go ahead and uh, get a little start up okay oh no 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 we're not gonna have that all right we're in manual mode right now let's see if we can get some we can feel that power 5.0 power keeps turning away from you but dude this shit is fast there's nothing like super amazing but like honestly 66 foot pound of torque at a certain power of the power, the power band you're only gonna feel that a little bit versus what it felt like before you know what I mean but I mean it's worth the tune I only paid 250 bucks for this from from one of my buddies at work and it's a $600 tuner it saves you gas it's more fun and it, it makes the transmission shift a lot smoother, especially when you got bigger wheels, bigger tires, the lift and all that shit. Not bad. I may help you. Hi, uh, can I get a, uh, can I get a McDouble? Okay. That's all. Oh yeah. All right guys, truck is really fast. We're gonna be building the G35, we're going turbo and all this shit. Stay tuned. I got more videos coming up. We're going to go back on the regular schedule. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button. Head over to Double A Supply if you guys want to purchase some Double A Supply merch.
and I'll see you guys in the next one.